Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. Today's video is an adorable clutch purse. I love the way this thing turned out. It is using Dollar Tree materials, but I am not gonna lie to you, this project really got on my last nerve. And instead of editing out all, editing, editing, yeah, editing out all of my mistakes. I'm gonna go ahead and keep them all in because I wanna remind you all that everybody has a bad day when it comes to crafting and you should not get discouraged because you never know how it is going to turn out. So I'm gonna keep all of those mistakes in there. I'm gonna let you know all of the things that I could have done differently. And I really hope that you enjoy this video and stick around by subscribing to this channel. Once you hit that subscribe button, we instantly become best friends. Did we just become best friends? Yep. And please go ahead and hit that notification bell. Make sure that it is set to all so you know every time I post a video and give this video a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start off with this adorable baby wipes case from Dollar Tree. This is a really nice size. You get this in the kids section and my phone that is super bulky and has two pop sockets fits perfectly on the inside. I am gonna shake it around so that you see that it still remains closed. I'm grabbing it in different areas to see if it'll pop open with some force and it does not. So I decided to move forward knowing that my phone wasn't going to fall to its death if I did use this as a clutch. So now I'm going to remove this sticker. You can go ahead and keep your sticker on yours, um, especially if you're covering it with fabric. But if you are keeping it as is and just adding some detail or vinyl, I highly recommend you take it off. I'm using some Goo Gone that I found in the automotive section of Dollar Tree and letting it soak through. Some of these little baby wipe cases, the sticker peels off nicely. This one just wasn't having it. So I'm lifting the edges just a little bit and having the Goo Gone do its thing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove it by hand and wash this down. So now that it's nice, clean, and oil-free, I am gonna be covering this up. Now you have a few different options. For me, I wanted to give you guys enough options at Dollar Tree, so I bought this drawstring bag, and it is big enough to cover the entire thing. It's a really cool pattern as well. They also have this really cool bandana at Dollar Tree, and when you open it up, it's actually double-sided, so you get a nice size out of this, and it's really lightweight, but I decided to use felt, and this felt I got at Hobby Lobby for $1.99 and used a 60% coupon. It is 12 by 18, and since, fa since felt doesn't fray, I thought that this would be a really good idea. And this is where the disaster comes in. So I'm trying to figure out what is the most convenient way to cut this down. So this is where my troubles came in because I actually didn't film myself cutting this down. And when I finally did cut it down, it was a little too short. So I ended up using the extra piece that was left over to cover it, which means I did end up wasting a little bit of the felt because as you can see, it's a little longer and I could have used it for the inside. So with a hot glue gun, I'm gonna start at the very edge at the top and be very careful because it is very easy to seal this thing shut as you'll see in a little bit. Now I'm doing all of the edges first and then working my way down to make sure that it is nice and smooth. And then I'll take care of the corners. So when it comes to the sides, I kind of knew that I would be putting something on the side to cover everything. So I wasn't too concerned, but the little folds are kind of what had me a little concerned because I knew you would be able to see them from the inside. So I tried my very, very best to make them look as neat as possible, but because I was using hot glue, you could see a lot of the hot glue on the inside. Normally, I'm a little neater when it comes to the hot glue, but today just was not my crafting day. So as you can see, it does look a little bulky, and I think that if I would have used some Taylor's chalk and actually done a proper um, pattern for this, it would have been a lot better because I would have pre-cut, but I didn't do that. So note at home, if you do have some Taylor's chalk or just anything to make a quick mark on this, make yourself a little bit of a pattern. But this is how I ended up doing it. It doesn't look too bad. 
I still think it is a really cool project, but I definitely could have made a pattern. Like right here, as I'm pushing in to see how much I need to cut, I could have easily used some Taylor's chalk to get that nice pattern and make it very, very accurate. So now I'm gonna glue that piece of felt down and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. At this point, I was getting a little bit nervous because I only bought one piece of felt, and since I had to use my bigger piece for the outside because I miscalculated, now I am thinking to myself, what am I gonna do with the side? Because originally I wanted to make something to be able to put your credit cards and stuff like that. So once I had covered up the other side, you'll see what I came up with. With the extra pieces of felt that I had, I really wanted to make this work, but they were really uneven. So what I did was I took my smaller piece and I put it up top and left enough room to be able to fit a credit card and take it out comfortably if you do it too high up because it has that lip there, you won't be able to get a credit card up. I cut it down and then I only glued the two sides and the bottom. So once I have that in place and it is nice and dry, I'm gonna go at ahead and add a second one right below that. And as you can see here, I'm already running out of felt, so I'm freaking out just a little bit because I do want one at the bottom, not just two random ones in the middle. But like I said, if you're doing this at home, look at all of my mistakes and definitely pre-measure everything. So as you can see, I have a ton of glue everywhere. Like I said, this was a disaster craft, but I felt like sharing. So for the final piece, I couldn't cut a third piece down, but I decided it would be brilliant to go ahead and add the third piece even bigger than the other two so that I can fit something like a passport in there. So this was just a happy coincidence and I actually really loved it, which is why I say I can edit out everything in this video and make it seem like this was all done on purpose when in reality it wasn't. So this slot was actually perfect for a passport and you'll see it when I show the finished result. And as you can see, the outside still looks a little funky. There's still hot glue sticking everywhere and the edges look a little funky as well. But now we're going to fix that. Luckily, it still closes and opens. This is some t-shirt yarn that I had left over. This is from Dollar Tree. This is from my boho video. And I'm gonna start to wrap it around to see if I can conceal some of those really rough edges. I really wanted this to have a nice trim and I think that the t-shirt yarn color plus that blue felt looks so good and so nautical so as i started i did go a little heavy-handed with the hot glue i'm telling you today was just not my crafting day but i did take a few breaks while doing this i had some lunch i played with my dog and then i came back kicked butt and finished it as you can see i'm trying to cover up the exposed sides and working my way around now I do want some straps, so what I did was I pulled my yarn enough to create a decent strap length and then when I went to the other side I just hot glued it in place. Now once I hot glued it in place I should have opened the purse to continue to the other side but instead what I ended up doing was just continue wrapping around. Now because there's so much felt and yarn in the way you can't really see where the purse closes so when it came time to make my second strap because i wanted one strap on each side i made a little boo, -boo. <laughs> this is really close up but um i glued it shut i thought that i was redeeming myself by doing this little string thingy no 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 so I decided to take my box cutter and just remove some of the hot glue, but it does look really good still. So I grabbed my box cutter, removed the glue, and stopped freaking out. 
I re-glued the straps and made sure that the purse closed nicely. And now it's actually starting to look pretty good. So I'm glad I didn't chuck this in my pond. So now I got these little anchors from these Dollar Tree bottles. You can also do seashells or buttons. Dollar Tree has so many cool things. I added a tiny little bit of hot glue and placed it in the middle. And when I was done, I had an adorable purse which I really hope that y'all enjoyed and liked, and I hope that this motivates you to keep going. If there's a craft that's giving you a bit of a headache, just reevaluate because it's probably gonna kick butt in the end. So thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you so much, and I will see you on the next one.